Hi everyone, it's Jenny here. This is just a short video to talk you through module two. Here we are already in week two, so well done. You've made it through week one and module one, and hopefully you're already feeling a lot more confident and comfortable in the university environment. We're going to introduce you to a whole heap of practical tips for effective learning. That's the name of the module this week. Um, so at the end of this module, you'll have even more resources to help you through and it's all designed to be really really practical. So if you started working through module 2 uh, of your study guide, and remember that is the best place to start, then you'll see that there's quite a few activities from the Cottrell textbook this week, uh, chapter 4, and you'll see that we refer to the CREAM strategy, the C-R-E-A M strategy, a bit of a funny acronym, but basically it's asking you to look at how you can be more creative, reflective, effective, active and motivated. So this, the creative part then, don't be too spooked by that, it doesn't mean that we expect you to be great artists or designers, it's more about being a problem solver uh, and being able to think laterally, so that's really important. Um, there are reflective part where well, we do talk a lot about self-reflection in this subject and that's because it's an important skill to learn at university. Uh, Self-aware students simply make better students because they're more aware of what works for them and what doesn't work for them. We know this as educators and the research backs that up as well and also in undergrad you may well be asked to write self-reflections um, it is a part of many disciplines and therefore it's important that we prepare you for that as well. Now the E is for effective and that's really to do with time management. And look, a lot of this is common sense, it's not rocket science, but it's also really crucial. Um, some of you will be better at this than others, but certainly everybody can be better. Uh, and one of the reasons that students will drop out of university is because of poor time management skills. So really important to have a good hard think about this. Now the A part is for active and we talk a lot about that in prep skills. It's sort of an uh, ongoing theme. That's because we want you to be engaged in your learning, not to take a back seat, not to be a passive learner, but to really participate and find ways in which you can be more involved and more active. And finally, the M is for motivated. We look more closely at goal setting in that particular part of the module. Uh, we look at how you can write goals in a specific, specific way that are really going to help keep you on the right track and other motivational tools to get you through. So let's have a look on Moodle and see what's what. Now you'll see that the layout each week, each module is pretty much the same. You can access your uh, a digital copy of the study guide module there online if you need to. Now also for the first couple of modules we provide you with the relevant pages from Cottrell. Um, that's not going to continue after this week but we do that out of consideration for those of you who might have been late starting and still waiting on your book from the CQ Uni bookshop so make sure you order it and get because uh, you will need it. The video links are here. Um, don't forget to check out the lecture recording especially if you're a distance student. Uh, you might be interested in seeing these interviews with past step students talking about their time management. Now we provide you with the resources that relate directly to the study guide activities. Uh, the time circles handout, that's a really useful handout for you to complete that activity and it's a really valuable exercise to actually think about how you use the time in, in each day and where does the time go and where perhaps might you be wasting some time. So that's a really valuable handout. I also wanted to point out this presentation by Trixie James um, about the hero's journey. You'll read more about that in the study guide. But basically Trixie takes us through her journey as a learner and how she came to uh, make teaching her career, the highs and lows along the way. Uh, Trixie is a lecturer, lecturer on the Bundaberg campus and many people do find 
it, it's a very interesting story and the whole idea of the hero's journey is something that uh, is motivational for many people so do check that out. There are some other resources here to do with time management like calendars and planners and we also take a look at stress management in this module as well because that's all part of managing your time and making sure that you're not stretching yourself too much that you are allowing some me time some time for you to relax and recharge um, so there is a section on that in the module and there's a couple of clips here that you might like to check out we look at stress management in more detail in week eight but really you have to start those positive routines early on there's the discussion forums uh, available here as usual so there's one about goal setting and time management so share your challenges and your tips there uh, and also if you have any thoughts about the hero's journey that's a place where you can go to discuss that and last but not least there's that checklist there and this is really useful just to tick off those tasks so that you know that you're keeping up each week so I hope that you really get a lot from that there is lots of uh, there are lots of practical tips there for you and sometimes it's the little things we do which can actually make a big difference so I really hope that you get into some positive routines and that this module helps you to do that oh look before I leave you just a couple of reminders about assessment don't forget that quiz one is due at the end of week two it's not hard all you have to do is make sure that you've worked through everything in module one and then you can get in there and do that so make sure that you make that a priority this week if you haven't already done it if you're an on-campus student you'll be doing it in class and then our learning portfolio A is something that you can also commence make sure you've checked out the details about that and that you've downloaded a template you can start filling that in week by week you just go to the re relevant module uh, and fill out those answers for each module and that will build progressively so hope you get a lot out of this week hope you're starting to feel more confident uh, and best of luck with module two